you want to know how it's a day of the week? Because Odell Beckham Jr. and a rumor surrounding Odell Beckham Jr. has popped up again. All right. Uh, and, and this time it's Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys who's clamoring for Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, here was the Cowboys quarterback talking about how he feels about OBJ. He knows how much I've, I've won him here, and a lot of these guys in this locker room I've seen have reached out on their own in, in different ways to make sure that he understands that this is a team that he can help and we want him to come out. I can't wait for this story to be over with. I'm so tired of Can't it. Wait. Can he make a decision, sign with somebody, and we move on with our lives? What What's going on here? Why, what's what is the, taking him so long? I don't. I don't understand. I know he's like visiting teams now, but what? What? I, I just don't know why there's this big need and clamoring for Odell Beckham with the Cowboys. I mean, I think he's he's got a visit set with the Giants. Like, who else is really a, a, a contender or a candidate to sign OBJ? Like, if it's Dallas, why not sign with Dallas? I, I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what the delay is on this. Mm. I really don't. It's weird. Uh, listen, I, if if I'm if I'm guessing why there's a delay, I'm I'm assuming it's two things. One, there's there is trepidation about if he's going to be durable enough for your team. That's one. Are we going to get him, and is he going to be able to sustain during the course of just this season, the rest of this season? That's one. And then two, if we're going to take that chance, I do not want to be in a situation where we're financially strapped based off of the scenario. That That's it. For me, if I'm looking at OBJ, those are the two things that I have got to have very, very clear answers on. And then we can move from there. And he's probably not going to be 100% this year. It's going to be next Why? year. That, that's got to be one of the biggest issues, right? Yeah. It has to be. Because ne- I would think if he's coming back from this injury, you're not going to get him at full capacity, whatever that is, at, after multiple surgeries and injuries now, until next year. But he was talking about wanting a multi-year deal. Well, who's, who's going to give him a multi-year deal? I, I mean, it would make sense to me. You see how he works out the final games of this season, and then you go from there. But maybe this is what the holdup is, that he wants some long-term security, and maybe nobody's willing to give that to him. And, and who knows, maybe that's why the Cowboys are, have got their foot on the gas. But I just, th- this whole thing, at, at some point, let's just make a decision and move on. And then, what is he really going to be incorporated in the offense just immediately? Like, we've, like, the Bears traded for Chase Claypool, and he's got like a handful of catches. He's been there like three games. I mean, like, like what are you going to get from him this year that's really going to push them over the top if they're not already a contender? It just it just feels that different. I don't know. It's, it's a good point. I mean, I, I think one of the things that huh, I almost look at Odo Beckham. I mean, besides the fact that he might not be healthy, or at least hundred percent, or even featured in the offense, like does he know that he really wants that or not? You know, maybe he just misses playing the game of football at this point. And just wants to be out there. You know, only he really knows what's going on inside. You know, inside his head. But you ever you ever know someone who's the type that like needs to continue to move around? and kind of jump from ship to ship, like they need a new experience or they get bored kind of easily. I, like part of me wonders, like he talks about wanting to buy a house, have a long-term deal and all that. You know, maybe that's playing a factor into it because he's, he seemed kind of transient, you know, like he's, he's used to jet setting. You know, he's used to kind of being here, being there, being everywhere. And, and maybe that's playing a portion of it is he's like, all right, I, I'm, I'm making a big decision in my life where I want to go somewhere where I'm going to be here for a few years. And it might be, end, be, end up being my home when it's all said and done. So maybe that's something that's, that's you know, maybe taking some time and making that decision because he feels like this is like one of those decisions where he's actually going to plant some roots instead of just being more transient with it. Or it's just the fact that he's not getting the contract he wants. That's <laughs> what it is. I mean, ultimately, that's probably what it is. Like, no one's offering him what he's accustomed to getting paid. That's the tough thing, right? When you get paid X... And then someone is offering you after a while and you get a little older and they're offering you why you're like, well, then why the hell am I doing this? You know, like you start to really question your motivations and question your passion for what you're doing if they're not going to compensate you what you think you're worth. So maybe there's just more of a disconnect as to what he's worth in his mind and what the market is actually saying he's worth. That has to be it. Yeah. Well, that, that has to be it. The market has spoken. It has spoken. And only people that know what that market is is OBJ, his agent, 
and the teams that they've spoken to. There's not like, who are you going to trade? Well, I mean, there is no reason to trade, but who are you going to get rid of to add him to your roster? Keep that in mind, because if you bring him on, somebody's got to go. So who are you getting rid of? It could be, you know, you mentioned before, he's not going to do special teams. So if you're getting rid of special teams contributors to add OBJ and he's not even going to be a feature receiver in your offense, what are you doing? C.D. Lamb's a better receiver right now, correct? Easily. Okay. Michael Gallup, better receiver than OBJ right now? Uh, If healthy, uh, I don't know. If healthy, I don't know. And then you've had what Noah Brown has played well at times. He's played well this year. He, I mean, played real well. Where, where's when the spot? He had the other QB. It, uh, it, I, it's after that, right? But like you have, you, it's I, after I that. Yeah. <laughs> so what? What do you pay the? It's <laughs> like, after that. What, yeah. what? What price tag is that? Yeah. So I mean, who knows? Well, we'll see. But he's set to uh, officially visit the Cowboys reportedly uh, sometime after visit. this. Maybe week. he just misses college yeah. and he wants to go back and. Go on official visits. This is like he got game, you know. <laughs> Roll out the red carpet. Oh, that's great, man. Well, Did I'm you, just saying. One one last chance to yeah, kind of take on, the circuit. You don't think like maybe he, he's like, hey, I'm I'm Jesus Sh- Shuttlesworth. You know, I want one last time to be recruited. <sighs> I mean, because he's not going to be recruited the rest of his life. Yeah. Once once it's over, it's over. No one's gonna be walking around saying, hey, come to this party, come to that party. You know. Dang. Yeah. Uh, you mean, know, I don't know, man. Those parties are fun, though. Aren't I, they? I think you got to be. Well, the parties he was going to probably are freaking phenomenal. Um, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think his last time getting recruited to that level was to the Rams. I really do. I don't – even his recruitment now, that's more so – this is more so for show. Players don't – I mean, unless you're Tom Brady, there's a handful of guys that – I mean, we don't even see Aaron Rodgers dictating who's coming to the team. A player isn't going to dictate if a guy comes to a team. And and, and so, for what it's worth – Well, Randall Cobb, I mean, he did kind of work group that's that true. one. That's true. Mercedes Lewis is still there. Yeah. Okay. You know. <laughs> that's what y'all going with? <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. 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 That's what y'all going with. That was a sticking point for Aaron Rodgers. All right. You know, well, well you know what? You know what? If you're going to recruit like you recruited Randall Cobb, then give him a Randall Cobb contract. He's actually getting – Randall Cobb's actually getting paid well. <laughs> his production it, right is, it, is it – is it comparable to what Odell Beckham would want? Probably not. Uh, probably not, but I, I don't even know if it's um, – again, I, I, you'd have to look at the contract, but I, I think they brought him in from Houston for like a three-year, $27 million contract. Well, I think that. if you're Odell Beckham, you take that deal, what, right? Was it that yeah, much? But if you're Odell Beckham, yeah. do you take that deal? Yes, it was. Yes, if you're Odell Beckham, you take that deal. But if you're Odell Beckham, do you take that deal? Yes, I don't know that Odell Beckham's getting offered more than that right now. Hmm. Randall Cobb got a three-year, twenty-seven million dollar deal with Houston. Correct, eighteen Jeez. million guaranteed, and yeah, an average annual salary. Good for All right, him, so man. let's revisit what I just said, what Q just said, how we just repeated it. But do you think Odell Beckham is taking that deal? He should taking it. Yes. You yes. think he's taking it? Yeah, that deal's not yes. on the table. You There's think he's no not way. getting more than that? See, I think he wants more. He might want more. He's not getting more. But that's there's what, a disconnect. There is, that, bam. There's a disconnect between the big <laughs> and, ask and spread. Thus, right? playing out on two pros and a cup of Joe, the reason why Odell Beckham is not on the roster Jeez. right now. Yeah. We just played it out just now. Yeah. I mean, if we you're just his played agent, it out. If you're his agent, you have to be. It's a. By the way, if you look through Randall Cobb's career, and I don't mean to pick on Randall Cobb, but um, how many times do you think he's gone over 1,000 yards receiving? Never. Uh, I think he's done it once. Yeah, he was always kind of the complimentary uh, slot receiver. I mean, but I mean, he seemed to always kill the Bears. I remember that. That was always. But uh, he's always... played twelve seasons. He's made seventy million dollars. It's a good living, man. It's a great living, especially considering like m- most receivers who aren't like a consistent thousand yard receiver, like main guy, probably aren't hanging around in the league. I mean, he's played a full season once. He was over 1,000 yards once. Hmm. 
It's crazy. I mean, yeah, so so uh, we'll see how the Odell Beckham sweepstakes turn out, but hopefully this whole thing gets wrapped up quick. Uh, sweepstakes, just so, huh? Yeah, just we'll we'll get this wrapped. It's it's the Cowboys, and then or is it bargain op- uh, possibly, option? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> hey, we got to do the Cowboys over there. No, hey, we got to do the New York Giants. What'd you say there? Why are you going to get that? No, do I have to do the Texas right over there? No, do you have two years, two years, no one, two years. No, 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 no. Remainder of the season contract. Uh, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Go on, go on, go on twice. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are the best. 